Okay, do you guys think there's an afterlife? What happens when people die? Where do they go? I mean, I believe in heaven and hell. Um, Where are you going? It's a good question. I don't know yet. Shouldn't you find out? There's yeah. a big difference between the two. Yes, there is. Do you think there's an afterlife? Uh, I think so. You're afraid of death? Uh, sometimes, not all the time. When you're afraid of us, when you think about it, yeah. when you keep yourself busy, mm -hmm. there's no big deal. Yeah. What about you, Mr. Tall? Heaven or hell? Yeah, which are you going to? Heaven. Why? Uh, I'm a good man. You're a good man? <laughs> okay, we're going to come back to you. What's your name? Uh, Dwight. Will I go to heaven when I die? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I just took Jesus as my savior, so I think that I'll go to heaven. Have you been born again? Yes, I have. What's going to happen to you? I think I'm going to go to heaven. I think I'm a good person and God loves all. I think heaven. Dwight, you think you're a good person? Yes, sir. Okay, when did you last look at pornography? Porn oh, <laughs> shoot. Oh, a while ago. You know, Jesus said if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Couple more questions, man. Appreciate your honesty. How many lies have you told in your life? Uh, lots, actually. Ever stolen something? Yes, sir. Have you looked at women with lust? Uh, yeah. Ever stolen something? Yeah. And you've lied also? Yeah. So you're a lying thief? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever used God's name in vain? No. What about you, Dwight? Yes, I have. Okay, that's using God's name as a cuss word. He gave you life. And the Bible says he's holy and you've used his name in place of human excrement. That word, S-H, you've substituted it. What's going to happen to you on Judgment Day? Oh, um... So guys, we're talking about where you're going to spend eternity. This isn't just who you're going to marry. If you died today, I know you're young, but if you guys all got in a car and you got killed on the way home, Man, you'll end up in hell. I'd hate that to happen. I love you. I don't want you to go to hell. Do you know what God did for guilty sinners such as you and I so he wouldn't have to go to hell? Jesus died on the cross for us? Yeah, he died on the cross. Almost everybody knows that, but they don't know this. And guys, if you can get a grip of this, it's going to change everything for you. You and I broke God's law, the Ten Commandments, and Jesus came and paid the fine. That's what happened on that cross. That's why he said, it is finished, just before he died. He was saying, paid in full. Guys, if you're in court and you've got speeding fines and someone else pays them, a judge will let you go. He'll say you've got speeding fines, but these fines have been paid by someone else. You can just leave here. Do you understand that? Someone pays your fine, you can leave. Well, God can take the death sentence off you guys, all because Jesus paid the fine in full on that cross. And then he rose from the dead, defeated death. And if you'll simply repent of your sins, not just confess them, not pray, but repent of your sins, turn from them, and trust in Jesus as your Savior and Lord. The Bible says God will forgive your sins, not because you're good, but because He's good and kind and rich in mercy. Is this making sense, what I'm saying? Yes. You're going to think about what we talked about? Yes. What about you? Yes. I'm talking about thinking seriously. You know, I want you to be serious about your Christian walk. Dwight, are you going to think about what we talked about today? Yes, sir. Think about it with a sense of seriousness because you don't know when you're going to die. Okay? You're going to think about it too? I'm going to think about it. Yeah. And you? Most definitely. Okay, that's great. Can I give you guys some literature? I've written a book. I think we've just about run out, but I can give one to Dwight and I can give you guys some other stuff. Okay? Is that all right? Okay, let me grab them for you. This is called Scientific Facts in the Bible. And, oh. It's the Gospel of John, which is the fourth book in the New Testament. <laughs> Real quick, here are three things to help you grow in your faith. The Living Waters Podcast, the Evidence Study Bible, 200 of the most commonly asked questions of the Christian faith, and much more. The Starter Kit, four of our most popular gospel tracks, Available at livingwaters.com Have you seen this video? He's been seeking Jesus, then cries after this happens. You'll really enjoy it, and you can watch it right now by clicking up to your left.